well, what are you guys preaching to us? This is all fake. This is all lies. And we know that in the Emerald Tablets, you know, which is my book companion with the Emerald Tablets, that the majority of Jesus' teachings in the New Testament come directly from the Emerald Tablets of Thoth, which are 36, 38,000 year old teachings. The Bible predicted in 2 Timothy 4, 3 through 4, that there would come a time when people would not endure sound doctrine, but according to their own desires, they would seek out false teachers who will turn their ears away from the truth and be turned aside to fables. This is exactly what we're seeing with the false New Age teaching of the Emerald Tablets of Thoth the Atlantean and the false claim that Jesus Christ stole his teachings from this tablet. By the end of this video, I'll prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that this is absolutely a 100% false claim. First, it's important to point out that there's actually two Emerald Tablets. There's the real documented one, the Emerald Tablet of Hermes, which is about two paragraphs long, and there's the Emerald Tablet of Thoth the Atlantean, a made-up work of science fiction created by a brokerage salesman turned occultist in 1939. The real and documented Emerald Tablet is a compact encrypted hermetic text. It was highly regarded by Islamic and European alchemists, and until the 20th century, only Latin versions of the Emerald Tablet were known, with the oldest dating back to the 12th century. This work is attributed to Hermes Trismegistus and is tied to hermetics such as alchemy, astrology, and medicinal practices. This Emerald Tablet is the real medieval hermetic text. The Emerald Tablet of Thoth the Atlantean is a made-up occultist work from 1939. The Emerald Tablet of Thoth the Atlantean is a 100% made up work by an occultist in 1939. This claimed Emerald Tablet of Thoth the Atlantean was revealed by Claude Dodgen, who hides under the pseudonym of Maurice Doriel or Dr. M. Doriel, who was a science fiction writer known for writing about UFOs, flying saucers, nuclear bomb threats, and serpent people living under the Gobi Desert. His education did not exceed elementary school, therefore he was not a real doctor, and records indicate employment as a department store clerk, a cab driver, and a Kansas brokerage company salesman. The Emerald Tablets of Thoth is an apocryphal text self-published by Maureen Doriel in 1939 after receiving permission to publish the translation from the Great White Lodge, his occultist group that he was a part of. It can still be purchased today from this brotherhood of the White Temple. These emerald tablets are claimed to have been written by Thoth, an Atlantean priest king written 36,000 years ago. Doriel claimed that in 1925 he visited the Great Pyramids of Giza and discovered this set of ancient emerald tablets that belonged to Thoth. He claims that he was then the only person who was able to translate the text. This isn't the only false outlandish claim Maurice Doriel made. He also claimed to have been teleported inside of Mount Shasta, where he made contact with a pre-Adamite non-human civilization. He claims that he was appointed by a group of ascended masters to be the supreme voice to guide humanity. By May 2nd, 1956, he insisted that Christ's kingdom avatar would appear. In either May, August, or September of 1953, he offered people to join his occult group in Colorado for $500, where they would be safe from a Soviet nuclear attack because of the special canyon that he lived in. He's also been caught plagiarizing from H.P. Lovecraft as well as a science fiction magazine known as Amazing Stories. This false emerald tablet of Thoth, the Egyptian moon god, is really a New Age religion of you being your own god and not accountable to anyone but yourself. This is the same lie that Satan told Eve in the garden that she could be like God. We also see those who follow this belief system openly attacking Christianity but wanting to come together to join with other religions. Wonder why that might be, maybe it's because Christianity actually holds the truth. There are a lot of New Age teachers who are teaching this absolute lie that Jesus stole his teachings from these Emerald Tablets of Thoth the Atlantean King, Priest King. But for the sake of this video, we'll just look at Billy Carson, who is the most prominent teacher teaching these absolute lies. Billy Carson of Forbidden Knowledge is the main proponent of this false science fiction religion. He's also very focused on attacking Jesus Christ and Christianity. 
He makes up insane claims about the emerald tablets with zero historical evidence. And when attacking Jesus and the Bible, he makes flat out lies as claims to make the Bible seem false and his science fiction religion seem real. We're living in a programmed uh, holographic light matrix. That is a method used for this creation, but we are in this. It's created by an entity and believe that there is a God. I don't, I, I'm, I'm not, I just believe that the biblical version is not specifically talking about the creator of the universe. I believe those are the words of men about men that have manipulated it to be God. And actually the word God in the Bible is mistranslated by accident on purpose. The original root word for that is God's with an S. And everywhere where you see God singular is actually supposed to have an S on the end. We must beware of false teachers like this who will try to bring in little bits of the Bible or little bits of Jesus here and there to get people who don't really know the truth of the Bible hooked, but then they completely lead them astray with their own you are God lie. And people buy into this just like Eve did with Satan in the garden. 1 Timothy 4 1 says, Now the Spirit expressly says that in latter times some will depart from the faith, giving heed to deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons. And I can assure you that's exactly what this Emerald Tablets of Thoth lie is. It's a doctrine of demons. Billy Carson's attacks are heavily focused on the Catholic Church, which has a long history and is extremely easy to criticize. It's also not a very accurate representation of a biblical following of faith, and they definitely have their errors. Worth pointing out is that Billy Carson loves Egypt and is obsessed with it, Yet he doesn't attack Egypt and their grandiose riches and architecture, but he'll attack Catholic history for these same reasons. In this clip, you'll hear him attack Catholicism as if it's the perfect representation of the Bible, but no human representation will ever be as perfect as the Bible. That's why Jesus came. But you'll hear him attack that, as well as tell the same lie that Satan told Eve in the garden, you can be like God. The Catholic religion has literally nothing to do with truthfully uh, achieving a higher sense of consciousness or Christ consciousness. It's really all about them. And even like, for example, the Pope or the priest of the Catholic Church, wherever you are in the world, that's supposed to be the conduit. That's supposed to be God walking in the flesh. Mm -hmm. uh, now, we know that we are all gods and God is us, but they take it to another level where they truly truthfully believe that they're the actual creator of the universe walking around. In this next clip, Billy Carson does what he often does, just says a flat out lie against the Bible to make his opinion seem real and the Bible seem fake. And Jesus never said he was gonna return. He said that Christ would return. And he's talking about the consciousness coming back to this planet and raising everyone up to a high level and bringing back a new golden age. That couldn't be further from the truth. Matthew 16, 15 through 17, he said to them, Jesus speaking to Peter, but who do you say that I am? Simon Peter answered and said, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. Jesus answered and said to him, blessed are you, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my father who is in heaven. Jesus not only claimed to be the Christ, but also said he was coming back as the Christ. Mark 14, 61 through 62. But he kept silent and answered nothing. Again, the high priest asked him, saying to him, Are you the Christ, the Son of the Blessed? Jesus said, I am, and you will see the Son of Man sitting at the right hand of the power and coming with the clouds of heaven. Billy Carson also spreads these completely false claims with zero historical evidence that Jesus went to India to learn from the gurus and the yogis there in India between the ages of 12 and 28. And what did he go there for? He went to study and learn the Egyptian mysteries. He was an adept initiate into the Egyptian mysteries. Then he traveled to Tibet to learn Reiki healing, Qigong, healing with his hands. That was confirmed by the Dalai Lama. Then he went down into India where he learned the mystic arts, teaching reincarnation all the way back. He realized that he went to go learn the devil's work, Egyptian mysteries, which was really the teachings of Thoth the Atlantean. So anywhere in the New Testament where you see Jesus speaking or quoted as saying something, in my book, I have the, the folks' words from the Emerald Tablets and Jesus' words side by side, where you can see he's saying the same thing that folks was saying 36,000 years ago. What a coincidence that once again, we have big claims from Billy Carson with zero evidence to back it up. We have the manuscripts for the Bible thousands of years old, 
documenting the biblical truths, and then the Emerald Tablet of Thoth the Atlantean, which doesn't even exist. There is no physical tablet to look at and hold except the copy made by Maurice Doriels, the occultist who's known for plagiarizing. It's absolutely insane that he tries to pass this off as actual truth, but he does. And here's some more insanely big claims with zero evidence. You know, if the public knew that long before uh, Jesus, long before Moses and all these people, you know, supposedly were even born or existed, that thousands of years before them, an advanced race lived on this planet, built an Atlantean global civilization, probably Atlantean interplanetary civilization, that had capability of space flight and everything else, and that they most likely genetically modified the existing hominids, which then became Homo sapien sapien, in order to put us all in slavery and make us do the workload for them. In this next clip, Billy tries to use Old Testament verses about burnt offerings and bringing your first fruits, and tries to claim that they're a Catholic teaching. While we are as Christians to offer God our first fruits and our best, this teaching of burnt offerings and food offerings is not Christian, it's not Catholic, it's entirely Jewish. And here Billy tries to make Christians and Jesus look bad by claiming that this was done by Catholic priests because they're lazy. And you gotta bring the offerings because we're our, we ourselves are not going to go out and hunt and, and, and grow farms and everything else. So you guys, you're gonna have to bring these offerings to us. We want it already cooked, so make sure it's a burnt offering. <laughs> Make sure you drain the blood, make sure it's healthy for us and bring us your fresh, your first harvest because we want the freshest fruit and the freshest vegetables. We don't want the stale stuff. Yes. We want your freshest wheat and the freshest breads. And so people would come down and bring everything to the church and give it all away along with whatever money they had left. Uh, and these people would live like fat cats. Billy often lies about the Council of Nicaea and how all these people came together and they stole from different religions and different ancient tablets to create the Bible, to control the population, but this isn't true at all. It's completely provable. But here we can hear Billy Carson saying that. The Council of Nicaea came together, built up the mythology. They added to the story. They took from a lot of ancient texts and tablets, and then they kind of curated this book, which they want to call it a canonized Bible, right? So they took right. from here, took from there, this tablet, that tablet, this scripture, that papyrus, this non-commodity piece. We like, we, oh, we like this coming out of, out of this, um, text over here and then they kind of just culminated together and then remixed it put their own spin on it this graph here is pretty cool and what it is is a graph of the bible and all of its cross references the bar graph that runs along the bottom represents all the chapters in the bible books alternate in color between white and light gray the length of each bar denotes the number of verses in the chapter each of the 63,779 cross-references found in the Bible is depicted by a single arc. The color corresponds to the distance between the two chapters, creating a rainbow-like effect. We can see clear as day here that the Bible cross-references itself. It's not a mythology taken from other religions. In the Bible, the Old Testament from Genesis to Malachi is very clear to see that it's in order, it's a timeline, it goes in perfect chronological order, and the New Testament has no literary rival in the ancient world in the number of manuscripts and copies and early dating texts of the New Testament. There are 5,300 Greek, 10,000 Latin, and 9,000 miscellaneous copies of the New Testament in existence today and more continue to be unearthed via archaeology, the Dead Sea Scrolls brought a lot of manuscripts to the table as well. Billy Carson is taking the work of one man, a science fiction writer, Maurice Doriel, who had a massive occult library, who claimed to be the only person who could translate the emerald tablets that he found in Egypt, written by the Egyptian god Thoth, and all throughout these emerald tablets, there's all these relations to other religions and other texts. What are the odds that the thousands of years of manuscripts that make up the Bible fulfilled prophecies, the fact that the Bible reads from beginning to end as if one author wrote it, that's the Holy Spirit through man, that all of that is fake, but that Maurice Doriel, a known plagiarizer, a known liar, someone who made false predictions that never came through, someone who had a large occult and religious library, was the one who came up with the true emerald tablets and all these other religious texts and documents and books are a copy of his work 
this emerald tablet of Thoth, the Atlantean priest god. I know where I'm sticking my hope, and that's with the Bible, with the manuscripts, with the ancient texts, with the prophecies that have been fulfilled, and the life-changing relationships that only happen through Jesus Christ. Jesus delivers and helps people every single day. You can go into a church with thousands of people and ask each individually, what has Jesus done in your life? And they will all have a testimony to share. This alone shows the power and the truth of Jesus Christ and the Bible. Where in the world can you go and find even 10 people sitting together who talks about Thoth and how he healed their addiction, healed their broken family, or completely turned their life around? I believe what we're seeing is what 2 Timothy 3, 4 through 5 warned us of that we would see in the last days traitors, headstrong, haughty, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, having a form of godliness but denying its power. From such people, turn away. This next clip of Billy Carson really makes me worry for his soul as if there isn't enough sadly to already worry for, but this is definitely frightening in comparison to what the Bible has to say. God is not a man. You hear people say reference God is him, he. They have this illusion that there's this sky daddy with a magic wand floating around granting wishes. That just really, in my research, isn't the case. I worry because 1 John 2, 22 tells us, Who is a liar but he that denieth that Jesus is the Christ? He is Antichrist that denieth the Father and the Son. Jesus is the Word of God, which is why it's so important for us to stand up for this truth and defend that the Bible is true and completely has no errors in it. 1 John 1, 14 tells us, And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. And to back this up, 2 Timothy 3.16, All scripture is given by inspiration of God, and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. The Bible is full of stories of people who are completely lost who came to the truth. And so I pray that Billy Carson will give Jesus a wholehearted effort and a wholehearted chance I believe if you'll read the New Testament and start praying to Jesus with an open heart, Jesus will reveal to him, or to anybody watching this who doesn't believe in Jesus, he will reveal to you the absolute truth. He is the way, the truth, and the life. These emerald tablets of thought the Atlantean priest got are made up. They're falsified by a known plagiarist and occultist. Jesus is the way and the truth. The manuscripts, the history, the prophecy proves it. And if you give him an open, wholehearted chance, he will prove to you as well that he is the Lord of all. I hope you'll do that if you haven't yet. Jesus loves you and he definitely wants a relationship with you and he holds all the answers to everything you're looking for. I pray you all are well. Thanks for watching and God bless.